Hi everybody, welcome again to another episode of Fish Keep in Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so today we're going to be looking again at tilapia cichlids. We're going to be looking at feeding tilapia cichlids um, pet fish food. Now, this is something like a, a foregone conclusion for persons who are within the fish keeping hobby, right? That your pet fish food, um, it gives minerals and much needed nutrients for the pet fish to survive, right? And grow at uh, a pace that is, you know, not slow and it's not that fast the thing is whenever you do feed your tilapia cichlid um you know whether it be fries um, fingerlings or you know fish that are you know you're hoping to harvest soon whether you feed them um whenever you feed them uh pet fish food they tend to go slow slow mo right now in jamaica there is not that readily available tilapia fish food i have shared uh, a video on this already where in which i look at uh tilapia fish food the quality i even go, go as far as actually doing some research and connecting with an importer of tilapia fish food um mr newell um if you look at that video you will see his contact information right uh however if you find yourself in a position where in which you cannot afford to actually purchase uh the imported tilapia fish food right the best the best option would be to stick with um stick with stick with the, the locally manufactured tilapia fish food now here is here's the reason why all right tilapia fish food is grown as a farming stock right you, you grow it so uh, that you can actually um you know hopefully you can trade it or uh, you can consume it and this is normally done like between uh, eight to ten months now here's the thing uh, between six to seven months if you purchase the imported tilapia fish food that comes from um that, that mr newell carries in uh you, you within six to seven months you can actually harvest those fish and i mean those fish are like um 12 12 12 um inches in, in length um you know they, they are really 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 it, it's really really worth it right um if you if you actually use the locally produced uh tilapia fish food um produced by the two manufacturing companies in jamaica what you find is that it can take between nine to eleven months for you to actually get the same effect so if you want quick turnover if you want quick uh you know increase in 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 in, in funding uh the important imported feed um is the way to go so you can do like the as locals in jamaica would say do like the local chinaman right wherein it you you actually could trade getting less profit because now you're going to be have to uh, thinking about the whole idea of purchasing um, imported fish feed, right? So you're gonna purchase the imported fish feed is a little bit more expensive. However, the quality is worth it, right? So that's gonna cut down on your profit margin. However, if you are able to produce uh, tilapia fish feed, tilapia fish, um, food fish, um, on a you know regular basis, what you find you get limited, you get you get a small amount of, of profit, right? In comparison to those large um fish farms however because your turnover is so so you know rapidly you know continuously what you find is that you are not losing practically you're actually gaining and in, in gaining you can set up the system in such a way that um you can actually import your own feed so you don't have to be buying like 20 or 30 bags you can actually be buying a container and it's cheaper that way because the production of your fish stock have, include, uh, have increased 
So um, you know, you you, you are there. To me, the the whole idea of you feeding um uh, your local food fish farm tilapia, should I say, um, with the locally produced uh fish food, uh, my suggestion, um, if you cannot manage to purchase the imported fish feed, don't purchase and use uh, normal um, pet fish food. It's not it's not gonna work. The, the, the fish is gonna um. The weight is gonna drop um even if you feed them a lot the weight is gonna drop and the quality of the fish is just not gonna be there uh, my suggestion to you is that you actually cut the servings in which you normally serve the fish um if you normally uh let's say that like you normally feed the fish uh four times a day uh probably feed them two times a day or uh, yeah two times a day right um to start out just cut it and what you find is that because the fish is so hungry you know used to the whole idea of um four times a day so therefore if you're not catching it in the morning catch it in the evening what will happen is that when you and 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 and, and decrease the pace in which the machine actually um delivers the feed to the water right decrease it by about 50 percent and so the water shoot a little stop sorry the machine shoots a little it stops the feed goes the feed is going to be sinking that's the locally produced right um you're going to shoot a little bit at a time so therefore the fish is not going to have a whole heap in the in the in the space so chances of the the feed actually sinking to the base of the pond will actually be decreased by about roughly about 45 to 50 percent right because all the fish will be going for the liquor feed that has been placed within the, the space because the fish feed is sinking um uh, you'll find that they will not pick it up off the ground so whatever um feed is on the floor they're not going to pick it up right and also what you probably might have to do is not necessarily change the water but do, do regular top up that actually neutralize the um the impact of the feed actually disintegrating within the water space making the water um you know getting really bad uh i hope that this helps you all right all right so this is just a quick bit in which i wish to share with you as i said before i am not done with tilapia fish farming right it's going to be with me for a very long time so stay with me as i carry on the journey as i continue on the journey should i say in tilapia food fish farming peace out catch you next time